Eleanor Zabel Willett was the first deaf woman in America to get her pilot's license. She was also the first woman in South Dakota to get her pilot's license. When Eleanor was two, she caught the measles, which ultimately led to her hearing loss. But this did not discourage her. Eleanor knew she could achieve whatever she wanted in life simply by fighting for it, and she was determined to make her own decisions, regardless of her hearing. She is known not only for being the first deaf woman to get her pilot's license, but also for leading other women, both hearing and deaf, to get their licenses as well. She also fought for them to have equal access and rights in the field of flying, just as the men had in their time. She established the FOF Club, whose goal was to help women gain their rights and their licenses to fly. Eleanor, who went by Nellie, influenced many deaf and hearing women in the field of flying. She encouraged them to follow their dreams, whether it be for flying or something else. And she is known not only for this, but for her friendly personality and positive thinking. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the deaf dancer, Frances Woods. Frances was born on a farm in Ohio. She was born deaf. And she went to the Ohio State School for the Deaf, where she played basketball. 